All right, let me welcome everybody this Sunday, and I want to say uh, happy, happy, <laughs> happy new week. And then I hope you're doing good, everybody. Well, let us not waste any time. Uh, we are already into the season. It is a season of politics, permutations, calculations, uh, uh, factorial analysis, divide the X, <laughs> and all that. It's a time of political alignment, realignment, transfer windows, cross carpeting, taking your decisions, and uh, all that. Counting your eggs, in fact, counting your chicks before they are hatched. You know, everything has to do with planning. And then today, the topic is who is a better deal for you? I know quite a number of people will say, oh no, it shouldn't be this or that, but I can still cope if worse comes to worse with this one or that one. Well, as it stands right now, the political atmosphere is already clearly uh, indicating that, um, you know, um, APC and PDP being the uh, established political parties in Nigeria that are in the forefront of the game, uh, they are throwing the following uh, candidates already. Uh, Tinubu already declared. In fact, it was first to go to make sure that uh, at least those who would think, oh, maybe it's not running, and may want to go and also declare or support other candidates. He wanted to make sure that he secures everybody beforehand. And then um, others are saying, well, Osimbajo appears to be a better. Uh, I guess people are already calling in. <laughs> okay, but in case you want to contribute to this uh, topic or you have something to say, um, that's the number to call in. What is your own choice? Who is your own choice? Hello. Uh, that's Hello, let's point. get started. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, let's get started. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Call from Dubai. Call from Dubai. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. Um, Osimbaju Tinubu Atiku. Just make it straight. Mm -hmm. Who would you yeah. prefer and why? One of them is okay, but uh, I think uh, better will go for Atiku because uh, Osimbaju has been with the failure. and the failure already. Okay, but do you not think that um, I'm not making case for anybody? I'm just asking to know whether you're sure about the option you're making. Osimbaju, mm. there were times some of the arguments put forward by those who want Osimbaju is that mm. as of the, there were times when Buari traveled and Osimbaju temporarily took charge, and they yeah. believe that within this period things, you know, uh, things improved. And they believe that if Osimbajo has the power, truly, he'll be able to do better. But that he's currently a vice president and in a ceremonial position, unable to do anything. So, if, if, he, if he can do better, he would have, he would, he would have done it even before now. Mm. If he's a man that can take challenge and responsibility, even if Osimbajo was to be a man who can stand for himself, body cannot be riding on you when you know your rights and you are you are you are even a professor and uh, I think you know what you know what to do and you are president at all. Mm. Okay, so your own choice would be Atiku. Yeah, Atiku should be better than I do. I don't even support I don't support any of the but due to uh, comment on the uh, APC okay. and PDP as okay. a political party that are uh, uh, that are already on the ground in the country. Okay, I get you. Thank you so much. So my first contributor today prefers Atiku. My first contributor today prefers Atiku. Uh, let me take other calls. Uh, so I was I was explaining that no, this is not to say it's a closure that these are going to be the only. I'm only saying in the face of the present situation that those who are, we have seen declaring so far. And those we have also listened to, and those they are also throwing up in each of these two established political parties. Worst comes to worse, who would you still manage or say, okay, this is still better? I understand some said, well, uh, Tino, let me allow another call. Hello, good afternoon from here, Sunday afternoon, Lagos, Nigeria. Hello, can you hear me? 
Hello? Oh, I guess there's, there's an issue with that. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, so yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of the topic. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on the program? Yes, yes, please. We are on the program. Please, so please go ahead. Make your contribution. Who would yeah, you prefer? Yeah. This is this is uh Rahim. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Rahim. Okay, so please go ahead. Make your contribution, please. Yeah, I think Osimba will be better as far as Osimba Yeah. And your reason would be. My mm, reason is that you look better uh, about it. Just listen a bit now. So I think will be better for us. Will be Cause, better. Uh, yeah, because uh, we need youth now. And I think. Is it simple to a youth or is it because of the body size? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we can still call it youth now. So I think I prefer Shibaju. All right. Thank you Let so much for your contribution. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take another caller. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, we lost that. Now, I was saying that for those who prefer Tinubu, a lot of them believe that Tinubu is a very strong person in politics and had been in the queue for quite a long time and deserves at least to, uh, to achieve what he always had dreamt for. You know, remember I told Buhari that is his lifelong ambition. All right? So... Let's not forget the fact that Nigerians are not necessarily yet thinking governance. Nigerians are still thinking politics. Nigerians still see this thing all as football or other kind of sports. Nigerians see politics as some kind of sports. And the, the earlier we diagnose better and understand our people, the better for us to be able to work out a plan for uh, redemption or or you know rescue but for as long as we are still thinking Nigerians see politics as governance we will not know we are not yet there hello good afternoon hello good afternoon yes please your name and your contribution sir yeah i'm adeyemi so i'll be fast to go to all of them all of them all together okay and your reason would be because uh, if you cut your mic back to turn on and uh, up to when article was the history of the country. Mm. Nigeria had death. We, we had um, some death talk. Then there was crashing there and then. The article was the chairman of the committee that sat down and devised the myth the get were cleared. So then Nigeria could actually cope with a lot of other capital projects. We made those capital projects. Nigeria and Julie, we could execute them. Because it was the time we were then that all of, most of these capital project and the subsequent persons that took power before we got to 2015 and we gave the power to people that cannot use it. So I'm, I think we could return Nigeria to some people that actually started this democracy that knew how they could um, navigate it. Okay, let me, do. let me, I'll, I'll save, I'll save this um, uh, issues of because there are so many things prepared already about Atiku, like his past in the customs, is the Alibotin, I know, yes. alleged Alibotin yes. scam, yes. Siemens, and all that. I want to, I, yes. I don't want to go into all of I don't want to delve, but I just want okay. to do something simple now. Atiku okay. was a former vice president, vice president, yes, yes, and Osimbajo is also a current vice president, yes. So, if you if you are between the two, are you going to look at the performance of each administration yes if of you course. Wait. yes if you weigh the performance of the administration you would say that under the old um, administration of Obasanjo Asiko the year was actually better not because of the age of the country or because of the situation currently or because of COVID-19 every every administration in Nigeria has their own peculiar challenges so we, we could actually determine the better administration with anything that could cope and as, as well deliver to the country. Not because you want to kill one aspect of the country so you could answer the other aspect of the country. You see, this country is actually talking about infrastructure. So, and they are ready to kill every other aspect of the economy for infrastructure and agriculture. No. The, the best way to determine what administration is the best for a country is balance. So if you could balance all the sectors in the economy, 
you cannot say that NNCC will be crashing because you want to you want to do something for agriculture or something will be crashing because you want to you want to do something for security. You just find you just need to find a way. So I think Atiku and Abasanjo actually find a way to to cope with the peculiar challenge of the country during their own regime. And I think Atiku may be able to do the same thing. So let me let me but you're coming from somewhere that I still have another question, which is that you know, Oba Sonjo also had problem with Atiku. Don't forget, in the 48 loss of power, you do not outshine your master. Any attempts that's, to do that, your master that's, will that's, break that's, you. That's the rule one. That's the rule one of 48 loss of power. <laughs> exactly. Now, you remember that when Atiku wanted to come out to contest, Oba Sonjo opposed him. And if you read my watch by Oba Sonjo, you know he has a whole lot of dark things, black things to say about Atiku. Until no, have eventually. No, now what I'm simply trying to say is that don't you think that Osimba is not also trying? He's not trying to, not trying to outshine, outshine his own master, and that is why you can't see his performance until he's given a chance. Oh no, 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 no! That's not, that's not true. That's not true. So situations are if you are not really. So one, if you look at the forty laws of power you were reading, the last part of the forty laws of power has a reversal to the general rule. Mm. If you remember, there is always a reverse mm. of the general rule. Mm. So if you are naturally talented and you are able to do something, and someone is doing some apparently that can put the future of the whole country on stake, on the brink of, on the verge of destruction, and because you didn't want to action your master, you kept quiet. I think that is even uh, like um, if you remember this POC man, it was um, a poet before he died. He wrote about people sitting on the fence. You cannot because of your own political ambition or because of many other things, many other considerations that are purely political. Leave the people. You, you are called. You actually voted. VP uh, is voted as the president is voted. If you look at the case of um, Atiku, Atiku mm. and Abbasan, mm. so the, the Supreme Court said in that case that just as the, the president is voted, VP is also voted. So that well, was they came why together on a joint ticket. Yes, they came together with John Ticket, but they are both voted. And if you look at Nigeria now, even before we consider the person of the president to vote for, we as well consider the person of the VP. Mm. So we don't just vote for the president, and we also vote for the president and the VP. Because I have actually campaigned for... But about constitutionally, what is, what are they empowered to do? That's another question, which I don't want to take yeah. so much of your time to <laughs> answer. But yeah, whether they are constitutionally, the VP is constitutionally empowered to take some to do some things, if not handed over to a delegated to do them, is another question. Well, thank oh, you so yeah. much. I I, I oh. really appreciate your your. I mean, the way you ex you spoke about why you prefer uh, Atiku as your candidate. Thank you so much for contributing. Let's continue to listen to other contributions so that we can get a poll at the end of the day. Thanks thank for your you very much. yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, for many people who really did not want Tinubu, a lot of them have cited reasons. Some said, "Oh, number one, age." Many people do not even believe the age quoted for him. You know, there's a colloquium for him every year. And a lot of people do not believe the age is quoting. In fact, we heard that about three or four times it has been edited on Wikipedia, trying to suit one thing or other. And then another reason is people believe that he put Lagos in his pocket. Now, Lagos is the reason why many people want him, really want him. They said he transformed Lagos. But that argument somehow is controversial. A lot of people believe Lagos already had its blueprint before Tinubu came. Like Lagos was already a capital city and already has some status, special status, special features, mega status, mega this and that. And some people even believe that what Lagos is is just like they are just cos giving little cosmetics to the face. There are, there are actually no new things to Lagos. Todd Milan Bridge was there since when uh, most of the schools there are ideas or creations of a large Jack Conde, and a lot of people have different things to say. But for a lot of people, they believe that Tinubu has built people. He was outside of office, but he has put a lot of people into offices. Most of those people are loyal and they want to really pay Tinubu back. And they believe his ambition is more important. <laughs> I know you know a lot of people will say, even if it is just for one day. Let Tinubu just be there. Whatever then happens afterwards, we don't then care. But at least he has worked for and deserves to. You know, that kind of sentiment over... <laughs> you know, Nigerians have this sentiment of we are compensating him over 
you know, what they deserve as proper governance. Like, if you look, if you take a step backward, like, remove your sentiment and ask yourself, does this country, if you want to be a patriot, you want to be patriotic, would Tinubu be your choice? But at the same time, because Nigerians are not yet at that stage, they still take a whole lot of things as sports. They still take politics as for the way they will say, oh, can you see our see Ronaldo? No, 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 they should give it to me. I see at the point, people don't really care about whether the person is doing well or not, or whether the person falsified their age or whatever. Now, I'm not the one alleging now. It's, I'm just reading, uh, just gauging public mood and reactions so far. Now, if we come to the point of Atiku, oh, damn, a lot of people believe at the first time Atiku stepped out to contest, it was Obasanjo who was, in fact, Obasanjo published a whole book trying to say no, uh, we will not take, we will not even allow uh, somebody as Atiku. It was, it was my, 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 my deputy, my vice, and I know what he is. No, 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 he's not that kind of person. No, so I saw somebody asking, I saw a comment earlier asking why is Shore, people like Shore not on the list. Well, I'll answer the question. When Shore declares, we will know. And then we'll begin to discuss the alternatives. For now, we are still discussing what is still present in the atmosphere. For now, what is in the atmosphere? A lot of people still believe it's not yet time for politics. This is still the time for us to still be asking questions about the budget for the year, the development, welfare, infrastructure, because this game, I mean, this administration is still on. And it will uh, rob us of the privilege or chance or opportunity to ask critical questions about this present administration and what they should do before the end of the year. A lot of people are still more concerned about what the budget is saying where is it going? What is the implementation? What are this and that? Before they will start thinking, oh, who is coming to succeed? For, for a lot of people, it's still too early. You see here a lot of people declare as time unwinds. So, um, Shore and other uh, alternatives, alternative candidates, will be another topic at some other time. For now, what is in the atmosphere are the two established political parties and that is why I concentrate on this one first so ask if worse comes to worse who would who would you rather let's manage this one or let's not manage that one that is the question for today gentlemen and ladies the number to call is right on your screen I still want to take like few more calls and then uh, we'll have some kind of a poll in mind already we have some persons uh, who prefer Simbajo, others prefer Atiku, but it doesn't look to me like there are people who want to know yet. What's going on? Swagger people, where on are they? Are they come just a moment? Um, some of you remember this particular story I've been telling you, uh, the mineral couple and some other two other important cases that we are trying to intervene for. Uh, this couple they have their date for surgery. Um, very soon but they just need some money for upkeep that is the husband's account on the screen please help some of you remember this mirror case where police shot at the boy their son and then the blind mother we are trying to look to assist her uh, because she can't see so that's the husband's um, account on the screen now the other case is the case of a frustrated uh, lady was pregnant, was contemplating abortion when we met and we felt, no, you shouldn't be doing this uh, if it is about money because the lover uh, abandoned her after her business crashed. So she was contemplating abortion. So we said, no, you shouldn't be doing this. Uh, let's see how we can assist you. If it is just to get you enrolled for antenata and then give you some things to take care of yourself and the baby afterwards, you pick your life again. It's better than losing the baby altogether and even risking your own life. So, but the account is the last line on your screen. A GT Bank account double zero three six ninety nine seven six seven. The reason for that is we want to make sure we don't just send money directly to our account, and uh, she won't do what we the purpose for which we ask money for her. And then the last case is this lady in Ondo State. Uh, one of those pregnant ladies arrested during 
and SARS. She lost her own pregnancy. She was beaten, went into coma, came back, lost her pregnancy, and then spent uh, several weeks in detention, came out sick. So, uh, we, and she's poor. So we're looking to just help her raise some money. Uh, she has pleaded not guilty. She said she was ignorant. She was not, she didn't even know uh, such thing was going on. She was just walking by when she was picked up and she was beating black blue. And then she lost her pregnancy. She was even thrown into jail, I mean, into cell, into detention for, mo for I think, about three months before she was eventually released. So that's our, our sister's account number on the screen. If you are responding to any of these cases, please ensure to, if you don't mind, do a screenshot to me if you send something to any of these cases so that I can confirm because um, this person particularly is not using her own account, it's her sister's account. So I can always call her and say, go ask your sister, so so money dropped, so so amount of money dropped for you. I'm sorry I missed that call. Uh, you can try back. Uh, I was just trying to quickly give some beneficial message uh, to the audience. Now you can call um, again, I'll be, okay, just a little commercial, I'll be back now. <laughs> This is brick made with head materials. It is fireproof, bulletproof, and it's three times stronger than the conventional brick you see out there. You can actually check this out. So, let's see how strong it is. Really inspired by this man's story, even though he's paying us to talk about the ad. But before we get to the ad, ladies and gentlemen, please meet Mr. Abiodun Akinyemi, a man who is looking to solve the big chunk of the housing crisis that we have in Nigeria by making affordable, self-sufficient homes. These kind of homes are becoming more and more popular, by the way, because they are efficient and they are environmentally friendly, and then it costs less to make them if you think about it in the long run. Anyway, before I tell you about the smart homes that he's building, let me tell you a little bit about his story. He's based in Canada right now, and he decided to build a house in Lagos, Nigeria, where he's from. But upon making inquiries, the cost of building a house has increased significantly since he moved to Canada. So instead of using concrete brick throughout his construction, he substituted it with laterite and he was able to save 30% of the construction cost. Laterite has a lot of advantages, by the way, including warming your home during the cold weather, cooling your home in the hot season. It's cheaper because it's readily available. It's everywhere in Nigeria. It has high clay content, which means it can hold more water. Laterite gives you better air quality. So if you build your house with laterite, you can breathe in better air quality. You can even recycle it. So if you build a house with laterite and you don't like it, you can break down the house and use the brick to build another house. And that's just to name a few of the advantages. But he didn't stop at building his personal house. He decided to make his house self-sufficient, off-grid, which means that he's not going to be depending on the electricity from the Nigerian government. So he's using solar power and he's also not going to be using power generators. So there will be no noise, no air pollution. At the same time, he's not using the regular soccer way that everybody uses in Nigeria. He's disposing his own waste material by decomposing it and he's generating his own water. So once the house is completed, he doesn't need anything from them. And this is why they call this home self-sufficient of grid homes. That alone inspires me. The fact that he was able to find an alternative to just spending so much money on building a house. And the fact that he doesn't have to depend on the government, he made himself a self-sufficient house. That is the inspiration for me. But then he took it a step further. So after learning from his own experience, he wants to do the same for others, except that he wants to do it better. If you see the picture of the house, you may not be too impressed by the aesthetic, but he calls this the experimental house because and what he has decided to do is to now mass produce this kind of house for other people. In case anybody out there is interested in having a house that will be self-sufficient, he has bought acres of land in Lakwe Beachfront in order to construct an off-grid estate. And what you guys are seeing is what he would be 
constructing. All these houses will not be using NEPA and they will be constructed with laterite bricks. If anyone is interested, he's looking for 10 people, just 10 people to start out. The price starts at 34 million naira for three bedrooms and you can pay in installment. He has a contract readily available, readily prepared, which you can share with your lawyer to know if that's a good deal or not. I mean, some people may feel like that's a lot of money, but it's a one-time payment that you no longer have to worry about electricity bill. You no longer have to worry about paying them to empty your sock away and stuff like that. It's a one-time payment that you know that from beginning to end, you know your house is complete and self-sufficient. Anyway, I asked him, by the way, I said, what if someone is interested right now and they decided to pay you and along the way they decided they are no longer interested, they don't like what they are seeing. And he said to me that your money is refundable, as stated in the contract. He said he will give you back 95% of the money and the remaining 5% is for administrative charges. He's using a system of interlocking bricks instead of the traditional style of construction. And this system results in a house that is 10 times stronger than traditionally built house and also more terminally efficient. Each home would have its own fire system and will be conveniently located by a fire hydrant in order to make it easier for fire crews to help just in case of an emergency. We will be building common areas that will have a gym, a playground, swimming pool, ball courts, grocery stores and so on and so forth. And more importantly, the houses in his estate will reduce global warming and human carbon footprint. So guys, if you're interested, please check him out. This is his website. Yes, that's the website, www.abbehomes.com. That is H-A-B-B-E-Y, homes, abbehomes.com. Now, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we were talking about <sighs> Tinubu or Simbajo and Atiku. Uh, if worse comes to worse, who would you rather cope with? Would you, <laughs> like Bode just say, <laughs> escape from the country like... Forget about the country if Tinubu wins. Or would you rather, oh, what's the difference whether Tinubu or Simbajo? Or Simbajo is made by Tinubu or whatever. But see, we have to prepare for rainy days. Sometimes you have to just prepare for if what you want is not what happens. What is the plan B of we can still cope with this one? You know, you have to always do that. It's unfortunate that <laughs> They have made it difficult for us to have alternative as we speak. Uh, the truth is, these guys already have their waiting market every four years. Nigerians are still poor. For as long as Nigerians, they have weaponized poverty, a lot of poor people will reject the truth when they see. For Nigerians, politics is some kind of sports and not anything near governors. They don't really care. It has gone into a stage where all of them have shared all means of production and distribution of goods and services among themselves. If you think light, you know, there are some families. If you think data, network, there are some families. If you think oil, there are some families. If you think, and those are the ones who are increasing the cost to save some money for election. So all of them have saved up to the tune of trillions. Most of them already own banks without looking for license. They own banks in everything. And then they are ready to buy, see and buy votes on election day. Now, the truth is, those of you who are shouting, show worry and cool, excuse me, if you are abroad, it is easy to say. If you are in Nigeria, and God forbid, these poor Nigerians do not listen to ideological messages. What they want is with pain. They just want something that gives them money like right now. Even journalists, and I will not lie to you, there are many. Read them. They patronize politicians. So, because that is where they get money. So, if you, talk, if you talk about who among them is qualified, now what is another interesting news to me is INEX says you have to declare your bank asset. <laughs> you know, funny, right? You will have to declare your bank asset. They want to know how much you have in your account. Like, INEX is also looking to be patronized. If I know how much is in each of your bank accounts, I know, okay, you, you have stolen enough. Oh, yeah, come on, Rujami. Then let's, let's talk about how you win, okay? Now, let me resort to the comments. Uh, and then open the lines again for the call. Yes, you can call in now. I want to hear your opinion. If none of them is your choice, let me know who you are proposing, why, and how do you think that person will be able to do it? So let's learn. Uh, I know quite a number of people are also not interested in election. Like, no, forget it. We just want the country to break. But the fact is, you must prepare your mind <laughs> in the event that it's not breaking in 2023. What can we still cope with? So, Ogundepe says, if they restructure first, if 
you or me becomes the president you will perform excellently yeah that is the truth but who will get them to restructure i remember that jonathan um instituted a sovereign national conference that sovereign national conference the report of it was not implemented he said if he came back the second time like if he won the second time he would be able to implement the report meanwhile before jonathan came before apc came to power after kicking jonathan out they were the ones shouting convoke this we want sovereign national conference we want restructuring we want this or that now they get the power at the center they don't even want it anymore now that's funny right okay so the moment you leave all of that you understand that now that pdp is looking to come back they will play all sort of card play on people's sentiment apc got to the center and they they, they shunned what they themselves were calling for meaning that it's all hypocrisy all along okay gentlemen and ladies nigerian mentalities is a tool to them mm. Um, Buki also says it's not the first time INEC will request for candidate assets and bank accounts. Did Buari or Simba do not declare assets and bank accounts? Well, we have not even seen that. And I think um, that was the first time Shire became <laughs> another street activist since almost 30 years back. The first. No, was it, was it Buari's health or was it the bank? was it recruitment into central bank the children of politicians or was it declaring that i think declaring asset was what she already started actually started physical battle with from the u.s like why would Buhari not declare his assets did he not promise to declare his asset did he not condemn people who were not declaring their assets blah blah blah, blah, blah. she already became angry and decided to step in, in the streets i remember one of the first set of things she already said no this guy is 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 manafiki he's a liar he's karma and all that it was from asset declaration that buari came to power and said he's not declaring in fact when he also said there wouldn't be office of first lady and he came in and then we saw that the madame wanted to be even <laughs> uh more than that of pigeons until something happened between them we don't know so gentlemen and ladies have been the one doing all the talking and i'm sure that many people are just sitting down waiting for shegun to say something that me i'm not going to tell you anything let me also hear from you <laughs> bring you call in i can take two or three more calls and that's it um on youtube own pilot says the only solution is shore if it comes out but people will not listen they prefer to collectorize and suffer for years um sometimes when i look at these situations i f i feel or i wonder if it is not even spiritual like are you sure this thing is not spiritual <laughs> like you know that these people are just coming to suffer you you know but eh, you know they always have these things they say see your boss will say tabani like if you don't want to eat your enemy's food what if your friend doesn't cook <laughs> what are you gonna do Okay, I just want to take like two, three more calls and uh, that's it. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, please, where are you calling from, name and Hello, uh, your contribution? Yeah. My name is I'm calling on you from Zubek. Okay. Your contribution, um, please. No. My contribution is that one of those names are currently holds for being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You see, all we need is the almost more than one U.S. concern. Our constitution for the end should be dissolved. We need a young girl, someone who's a country, who should be a future of the If any of those men is dead, we shall be constitutionally dissolved. Believe me, the first place up because the constitution is very right low. It's clear, it's not ambiguous. That is the first solution. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. Uh, that wasn't really clear. I guess it's um, either the network or something. There's, there was noise there. 
but I, I get I get what he's saying that we should disband the constitution and uh, we can start reworking the country before we can be, begin to talk about who is qualified. But um, you know, I always work with assumptions. You know, all of us do plan Bs in case this doesn't happen within the short period we still have before 2023. What can you cope with? Like the one I can still. What comes to us? Let's just do this one and bond the rest. That's the question. I know what a lot of people do not want uh, what is currently obtainable, but I also understand that uh, it doesn't happen uh, automatically. Hello, good afternoon. Mr. Shege. <coughs> I greet you, I sir. greet you, boss. Your yeah, Excellency. Wow. I see happen. your caption. <laughs> I see your caption. Uh, your caption, the, the debate between uh, Tilly failure. You oh. think you can't get it? Today. Can't they shock me? Hmm? Why this Nigeria can't be like this now? It's I our reality. Be, I'm like, sorry. Because it be like, say, we're not going to get option this time around. Uh, it goes, if it's still there, but the ones we don't see so far, now we they talk. You fix to get <coughs> other options. <sighs> Looking at things on my own, eh? Mm. I feel say between Article uh, Osibanjo and uh, Tinovu. Mm. Tinovu may be better. May be better than this. These two or your people. <laughs> yeah, you get why you talk, man. Let's forget, well, let's forget the fact say the fact say Tinubu they try to they create empire for himself. You understand? Mm. When I mean empire, nah? mm. you know the I Roman system of yeah. lifestyle then. Mm. But in legacy for Lagos, you can't beat it too. Because mm. only in Lagos I have seen a continuous step of government. Only in Lagos in Nigeria. Mm. I don't see, see Government, uh, issue governor, they continue where the other one for stop. Even though they will have their own idea, they will add up to it, but they will continue for the other one for stop. Mm. And I believe in the Tinubu Foundation that they follow. Mm. Another one, you know, that one's you know, was continuity is your own. I mean, that one shock you. Continuity, that one, that one makes sense. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. For that one, no. And Tinubu has always so also he, said he, will, he said he will continue with the legacy of Buari. Uh, uh, so that's uh, another continuity uh, for you there. Uh, uh, wait, mm. wait, that one so eh? Now, now two ways, oh, now two ways. Oh, okay. Eh, uh, uh, now two ways because you get it take this sometimes. It depends on the area we want to continue with. If now the continue of project where Buari continue from Gula do not have. Like that train system we bless you try to work on. If not that one, that will make sense. Oh. But if not the continued failure, that will go show co. Ah, okay. That will go show co where well, you uh, you get why? Right. Yeah. Because although I believe say to go do more better than Buari. Hmm. But I will do more better than uh Ogawa Usibanjo. Hmm. But do you do I'm you sure, think Tinubu, sure do you think uh, Tinubu is that elderly to do all this? But Tinubu is not capable to do it because of his age. He don't hold. That one join. That one join because even the Tiburi we talk about so it's not that Tiburi is really bad to that extent too. I believe mm. that the age is not the same. What happened to that call? That Oh, sorry. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You don't pursue my last call, Akomoto. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. No problems. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, your name, yeah. where you're calling from, and your contribution, please. My name is Salah Utijani. I'm calling from uh, Info area. Okay. Mm. Ogun people. Mm. How are you doing now? How are your road? The, uh, the road is fine. Uh, but I think we are managing the uh, feedback. Mm. Mm. At least rain, rain don't stop now. Mm. Now only dust you uh, know, get now. They, 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 they,
they did a little palliative. So the palliative they are using there. They are still working on this. I think the Nigeria is still there. On Thursday to on Thursday to Sunday to Sunday to. Okay. Uh, that's uh, they are calling. We wish you the best. We'll continue to speak your matter too. Yes, let's hear your uh-huh. contribution. Uh, my, contri- my contribution is that no, anybody, me, I want a younger, I want to be again to put on there. Osibado and uh, Chinubu, they are, they are the one in government. And we have seen how they have six years. Are you, are you with me? I'm with you. So you can, you can see how, how we have seen how they are six years and they are running. No, we thought that they will come and rescue the nation, but they make it worse. They cause division, and none of them is speaking about it. All of them are just speaking. Somebody is speaking English. To uh, me, keep quiet for the past six years of the killings and whatsoever. And there is, there is a narrative that they said to me in uh, South of Lagos State. Lagos State is a regional, it's part of the regional area in the Southwest. We are now. Centra is different. If you are talking about Centra, is different. The whole nation. Mm. And to, to carry a lot of them about them themselves. We are not talking about politics. We are talking about how to deliver Nigeria from this mess we find ourselves. We are talking about who we may are receiving in the north. We know what is happening exactly in the north. And we know I've heard about elders in the north saying that uh, in the north that have to produce because it's Tinubu and Amethi that brought Buhari into government. So it's, there is their own right now to put somebody in their government. So all those narratives that Tinubu is, and again, Tinubu, fine. Age is not his, on his side. We don't want somebody again. Then he is choosing the vice president. We don't want age is not on his side. He can, I don't, I never see where a kingmaker become a king. So, I don't know. I want somebody like Ellen Mamori try to come up. I'm looking for somebody from, 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 from Oh, South, yeah, South. forgive me. I forgot to add that Dili Mamadou is also has already also yes. declared. I would have yes. added him to this list. Yeah. Dili Mamadou too is coming on board. Forgive so, but me. if you said Dili Mamadou, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the north, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the south, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the south, south, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the south, south, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the south, if Dili Mamadou have that strength in the north, west, if Dili Mamadou have uh, north, east, you should not have faith in the center. These are the people when you want to give this APC to government. He destroys all of them. He abuses all of them. He castigates the people that can help him now. He castigates all of them that they are criminal, they are thief, all those things. So you can see how dirty the policies they play is now coming to as a common back to them. So a lot of things, if you sit down, they are not looking at you don't need them again. We need a young people. Just like what's going to happen in Lagos now. I, I'm, hearing, I'm reading about training about gender. We need a fresh longer one that they have technocrats, they are not full politicians that can deliver this nation. If the enough of suffering of Nigeria people is is hard to be put to stop by these politicians. We need a younger person, my brother. We need a younger person as a way. Tinubu is only known in the southwest. I'm telling you, they go and go beach. All those ones you want to uh, consider to donate 50 million, you want to make But somebody, to... somebody, what? somebody is talking about the delay which you prefer, delay Mamadou. Somebody says delay is also in the yes, account. Yes, I just want you to move on. Delay Mamadou, too, is all his uh, supporter are on the internet, not on the ground. So I wish delay Mamadou can reach out uh, up on the internet because and the platform you want to come out from. So it will not go to easy with you. He doesn't have to have a PDP that is done. They want to come out, they will not allow him. They will not allow him because they are lack of a lack of Bukola Saraki. They are lack of Kokwansu. They are lack, a lot of them want to come out from there. So it's a tie time battery. So then my mother will have gone to a new party. And let's use all their friends on the Instagram or whatsoever. They want to use technology to win an election. Now this is not right. Because this government that is there, cycle of the youth, and they have destroyed it. The youth cannot even think right. 
They don't know where they belong. Everybody's doing on the show. On the last one, they don't even see them. Because they, 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 these people have come again. So until they work on that, little Bamoru can work on that. Until all the life of all those people can work on that. But for that, still of them you paraded, Atiku, Osibajo, Tinubu, Tinubu is out of it. Tinubu Kaba, Fabio, Tinubu is out of it. Tinubu did not go to the Tinubu did not go to the Tinubu. No, Tinubu, we are talking about Central. We are not talking about the region. So this is different from Central. You have to measure the Central. There are people that they will want you to succeed. How are you going to get to them? These people in government have planted themselves over there for the next 30 years. How are you going to approve them? How are you, anybody in the South, going to approve this? It's not easy to be approved. them. If you bring anarchy, he has no way. But what I see in Tinubu, for I have done well, they have told me I'm I don't know how I have evidence. It's not a written, but the way everybody is saying it. First, he wants to just make him know. But all of everything on earth, he has it. He just wants to write his name that I want the president of Nigeria. Just like the way Buhari come to make, uh, uh, to make his own name that I want the president of Nigeria. Not that they come to, not that they come to deliver Nigeria, to make Nigeria better. They can never make any, all those old set of people. Look at, come to the look at what they are doing. Anyways, uh, we, we, we have taken so much time <laughs> listening to you. Uh, I, but I get okay. that you've made your point. You don't really like all these people. Okay, <laughs> you thank want. you. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, mm. Thank you. I understand this caller has been trying since he, he couldn't get on the red call and decided to go to work. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, boss. I do it too, brother. Your Excellency. Mm. Good afternoon from here. Uh, I agree, I, agree, I agree with that boss, but mm. it can't be more correct. Mm. Mm. Because at the end of the day, uh, the thing, the, the thing that tight corner in Nigeria day, mm. the best way what we need now, we take happen for 2018, 2019, where she really was, was on board. Mm. You know, now they calculatedly strategized to cage him for four years so that at the end of the day he won't be able to to follow up this time around. But then uh, the other person who is supposed to feel come up is in the situation where that could that could even good. Not the East is supposed to bring president come aside. I do this time around mm. self. Mm. What you will do see they come up. We see what they do. Ah, they know what they do. Some of them see the way see the cry. Say I support East. I support East. They know what they declare again. They have the same feather. Because I follow the way they do. So they say on Facebook. Oh, well, East. I can see they declare as they will become president. Which way? Which way? Somebody, somebody, so, somebody, somebody, me, somebody believes that is actually being used. That um, they are using him to. They want to use him to destabilize. Na, na, na machine, I, na machine, I, be. Na machine, I forget. Na two, na black, two face man. Hmm. Na two face. This one do not get. You not get single follow out. Look, see they say. You don't get. Forget they say they post a uh, abada of PDP. You don't get follow up for PDP. Hmm. Anyway, so, so that being so said, your own there's choice. a young lady that came up that declared last week. Kadija to come in like that. Is that what the name? Kadija to Kunu Lamidi. Is that the name? There's something like that. That lady declared. Yeah. Eh, this guy for knowing who plan and moving the heart or any really serious, we don't know. You lady. Why do not mobilize each other? Eh, you, this guy Kuku. He, did, uh, also, uh, this, uh, he also declared, why no work with this other young lady? The lady we I, I see brightness in that lady future. I be see the captain for about you who never know much about her. Say she will not feel put on again. Why would they work with the rest young people who will push the person now, instead of all these three dead body? <laughs> but I learned that um uh, I mean I saw I don't know if it was on if it was on Punch, I read it that uh, she said she is re somehow related to Tinubu, and a lot of people feel, oh, uh, while well, we thought we have uh, 
I mean, <laughs> an alternative. She's, uh, she's actually related or close to Tinubu. And there, there, there's, you know, there's actually a whole lot of um, uh, suspicion in the air that most of these people declaring are being pushed out by some money bags. Now, it will take time, to, it will take time to screen and be sure about the character of each. Yes, it will take time uh, because you remember what happened 20 maybe also in the uh, aspect of this, our mama. Uh, of uh, we uh, we we later declare we later uh, fall out for two days. Is it crazy? Yeah. You know, that woman now person take take a lesson there. Eh? Hmm. Can't can't fall out for two days. Uh, two days to election. I be married to election. Hmm. So that kind of people now two person to in fact it is so in Jesus name. Let Nigeria let Nigeria decide what what they want. Hmm. All right, I guess so. I'm telling you, <laughs> man. You, you just you... quiet. Eh? Now, fuck up for the east. Also, saying that nobody should come outside with the tangible. Ah. Hmm. Well, it shall be well. Let's keep following up. Um, there was this post by was it Reno Mockery? And you know, sometimes you read some people and you see the angle they are coming and coming from. Reno Mokri said something in, I think it was a, was it a tweet on, Insta, on Instagram, where he said, if Nigerian youth can put the same energy they used to form team during BB Niger, the energy we used to form team to sponsor a particular person to win, if we can put the same energy into being curious and concerned about who goes into Hustle Rock for us, that we will kick all of these people out. So why is it that when it comes to sports, reality shows, nudity, sorry, reality shows and the rest of them, our youth are always interested. You see them pumping out money interest and doing a whole lot of things like that. They will bring out how much are, are the show organizers of BB Nigerian how much are they making at the end of the 30 days? Just one month. They would have, they will be, uh, you know, they will be, they will be disclosing or announcing how much they made to the tune of billions from our recharge card uh, votes for 200 naira and co. Meaning that young people would team up and say team this, team that, and start pumping money into such reality shows. What is wrong with sponsoring a candidate too so that you can go and do well for us? Because nobody will put... I've seen some comments here saying uh, the lady should go and bring... Khadija should go and bring 70 billion naira yeah, for us to be sure that she is ready. If she looks for that kind of money and wins election, what do you think will be her priority? To recall the money. Nobody will bring money out and not definitely misperform. So those who are saying eh, the reason they don't want to show her is because he doesn't have money to, to win election. What is wrong with sponsoring a candidate that will go in and not have any 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 debt to pay back immediately he enters office so for as long as we are still looking for somebody who has the billions to come into office with debt and baggage of debt we will never have governance so for as long as we are still looking for oh she you know get money you won't contest before for as long as that is what we are still waiting for we are not ready nobody will come into office spending bullion vans and not have the priority of recouping what is spent that would be the priority so which is why one of the things that endeared me to Shores idea was that he said sponsor who you want like let us do crowdfunding it is even a way also of itself of showing how much people really want that candidate they're already voting with their money before I neck election like pumping their money to say we want to see this person do it you know, but then Shora was saying that the election wasn't transparent, wasn't free, wasn't fair, which was why he announced that no, we must protest against this system. It's not workable. No, these things are social experiments and they are in phases and in stages. So that said, we must realize that for as long as we are looking for somebody who will bring billions to come and contest, even if they win, their priority would not be governance, but how they want to quickly pay back the debt and even have more gains or more money to win the next election, to win second term. So they will continue to increase prices of everything. 
So even if we need money to win election, can people who are interested in governance begin to get this money together and sponsor a candidate instead of asking the candidate to go and look for the billions? Because that would be his priority to recall. So most of these people we see in government today, it's not as if they didn't really have interest. It's not as if they don't know that the roads are bad and they have to fix. Not that they don't know that these things are bad and they have to fix. But because their priority is how they can quickly get the fund back and still more to win re-election. Gentlemen and ladies, I think for this show not to be too long, we might just have to figure a way to draw the curtain at this point. But let me quickly read some recent comments I may have missed. Shegun, we need money to win election in Nigeria. Europe and America use money for election. It could be contribution funds. Yeah, you get it. On YouTube, concerned man say, what about the case in court that I saw on the news yesterday about the disputation of the existence of Nigeria by South East, South West? By and large, that should be the solution to any election. Okay? Pastor Godi on YouTube. Shegun, the Nigeria you people are still discussing rights is a failed state. We know. If we continue to talk like this, our generation will not see any innovation or meaningful change. Can we reset our brains? We have reset it. Buki says nothing less than 7 billion era for presidency alone. 7 billion era for presidency. Okay. Uh, what does it cost to even win a senatorial district? And how many do we have in Nigeria? Those are posters. And yes, 7 billion era will go a long way. I agree. But then, who will give me 7 billion naira? I don't have it. Will you <laughs> give me? And if you give me, do you not want it back? So one person will not do it. If everybody is tired and we all start contributing our little, little to support the person we trust, this country might be on its way to redemption. My name is Shegun Olo. I thank you for your time. We'll come back and discuss another topic as the elections are fast approaching god bless you and thank you for your attention have the uh, the, the the rest of the sunday enjoy it really inspired by this man's story even though he's paying us to talk about the ad but before we get to the ad ladies and gentlemen please meet mr abiodun akinyemi a man who is looking to solve the big chunk of the housing crisis that we have in nigeria by making affordable self-sufficient homes these kind of homes are becoming more and more popular by the way because they are efficient and they are environmentally friendly and then it costs less to make them if you think about it in the long run anyway before i tell you about the smart homes that he's building let me tell you a little bit about his story he's based in Canada right now and he decided to build a house in Lagos Nigeria where he's from but upon making inquiries the cost of building a house has increased significantly since he moved to Canada so instead of using concrete brick throughout his construction he substituted it with laterite and he was able to save 30% of the construction cost laterite has a lot of advantages by the way including warming your home during the cold weather cooling your home in the hot season it's cheaper because it's readily available it's everywhere in Nigeria it has high click content which means it can hold more water laterite gives you better air quality so if you build your house with laterite you can bring in better air quality you can even recycle it so if you build a house with laterite and you don't like it you can break down the house and use the brick to build another house and that's just to name a few of the advantages but he didn't stop at building his personal house he decided to make his house self-sufficient of greed which means that he's not going to be depending on the electricity from the nigerian government so he's using solar power and he's also not going to be using power generator so there will be no noise no air pollution at the same time he's not using the regular soccer way that everybody uses in nigeria he's disposing his own waste material by decomposing it and he's generating his own water so once the house is completed he doesn't need anything from them and this is why they call this home self-sufficient of grid homes that alone inspires me the fact that he was able to find an alternative to just spending so much money on building a house and the fact that he doesn't have to depend on the government he made himself a self-sufficient house that is the inspiration for me but then he took it a step further so after learning from his own experience he wants to do the same for others except that he wants to do it better if you see the picture of the house you may not be too impressed by the aesthetic but he calls this the experimental house because what he has decided to do is to now mass produce this kind of house for other people in case anybody out there is interested in having a house that will be self-sufficient he has bought acres of land in Lakwe beachfront in order to construct an off-grid estate and what you guys are seeing is 
is what he would be constructing. All these houses would not be using NEPA and they will be constructed with laterite bricks. If anyone is interested, he's looking for 10 people, just 10 people to start out. The price starts at 34 million naira for three bedrooms and you can pay in installment. He has a contract readily available, readily prepared, which you can share with your lawyer to know if that's a good deal or not. I mean, some people may feel like that's a lot of money, but it's a one-time payment that you no longer have to worry about electricity bill. You no longer have to worry about paying them to empty your sock away and stuff like that. It's a one-time payment that you know that from beginning to end, you know your house is complete and self-sufficient. Anyway, I asked him, by the way, I said, what if someone is interested right now and they decided to pay you and along the way they decided they're no longer interested, they don't like what they're seeing. And he said to me that your money is refundable, as stated in the contract. He said he will give you back 95% of the money and the remaining 5% is for administrative charges. He's using a system of interlocking bricks instead of the traditional style of construction. And this system results in a house that is 10 times stronger than traditionally built house and also more terminally efficient. Each home would have its own fire system and it would be conveniently located by a fire hydrant in order to make it easier for fire crews to help just in case of an emergency. It will be building common areas that will have a gym, a playground, swimming pool, ball courts, grocery stores, and so on and so forth. And more importantly, the houses in his estate will reduce global warming and human carbon footprint. So guys, if you're interested, please check him out. This is his website.